hey guys welcome to my channel so i just came across a video and i want to share my opinion on it so first let's watch the video and then we'll talk about it ready to expect me to draw a moral line i have to perceive a difference that i consider substantial and i do not consider the difference substantial do you guys? No. Right. No. And that's really what matters. If it was made with AI, I'm completely okay with that because it was fun. The evidence it is doesn't that matter. Nobody really cares the lead about this. developer has been very positive about AI in the past yeah. and made an AI game We're gonna play called this, by AI way. Art Imposter that lets yeah. an AI artist draw a picture. And so that that was like like one of the yeah, games. We're going to be playing and, this this week. Yes, just generally has been much more uh, positive about some of the benefits of AI rather than what is the normal sentiment amongst artists and, and you know, I guess general uh, Twitter population, which is that, you know, AI is bad and it takes jobs from well, people. Well, AI and the sentiment from artists, artists' opinions don't matter. It just doesn't matter because what matters is the opinion of the people that are buying the product. Like, it doesn't, like, your opinion on it, like, just because you do it doesn't, like, nobody cares. Like, it, 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 it's not, it's not relevant. It's like whenever one of these, like, you know, really well-respected and, and really respectable uh, directors talks about how bad Marvel is. Shut up, old man. Shut up. I like watching the Thor movie. It was cool. So that was Asman Gold, a streamer, and it was his opinion about art and gaming and future of it all. Um, I myself didn't know who this guy was. I just found out about him. So let's just check some of his quote tweets and replies. This was posted on X or Twitter, by the way. Okay, so... These few are pretty brutal. Uh, first one says, Guy sits in his field consuming things that wouldn't exist without artists. She has zoo on artists. She has zoo on devs. She has zoo on gamers, probably. She has zoo on the floor um, in his bedroom. And still somehow people will say, his best. Anyways, don't listen to me. My opinion doesn't matter. So, this person is an artist. The second one says, Asman Gold pumps out up to five videos a day with the better half of them being complete unedited re-uploads of other people's videos with him in the corner shaking his head. What makes you think he would have any respect for any artist ever? The third one says, Artist opinion don't matter, within quotes. I regret ever listening to his streams, watching his YouTube videos every day for years. On a side note, it's funny how he shames WoW devs for being lazy and then praises all others for being lazy. He can't keep his own opinions consistent. I don't know about this gaming stuff, uh, which uh, game they're talking about. World of Warcraft? I don't know. So, these are the first few quotes that I found. Okay, so there are a few more quotes here. The first one says, Imagine a guy getting paid to eat a chef's cooked food. Sometimes even getting paid more than the chef himself. Now imagine the guy eating the food turns around and says, F the chef. I think his thoughts aren't worth shizu. Can you see why most people would think you're a D? The second one says, We could very comfortably live in a world without game streamers. A life without art? Inconceivable. Asmongold is fully aware his content is vapid and disposable, hence the attack on artists, you know, the people whose content he leeches off. The third one says, artist opinions don't matter, with quote. 
love arrogant people like this who embrace ai content cuz it doesn't affect them he def uh, he definitely would be complaining if people watched ai streamers or something instead of him lml okay here are a few more quotes he sounds dumb as f but he represents the average consumer tunnel vision into their own enjoyment and lacking an ounce of empathy for the very creators of what he is enjoying until they notice a difference in their fun there isn't anything to care about in their minds the second one says something similar This is exactly how I imagined entitled consumers would view the AI stuff because to them it's all about if they get their fun little art fix no thanks for the many people behind the media they depend on we are a means to an end you're a shirsu person if you feel this way The third one says to all the people decrying Asmund's stance towards AI in art imagine a future with no good artists left and the ones we have are mediocre from a human standpoint we have to support those good artists however we can but from a business standpoint mm and here are some of the replies in that post and some people who posted regarding his comment so if you guys are really into this topic you can just go ahead and pause the video and read the comments i hope it is visible and readable for you so please go ahead and here are a few more i did notice a lot of people supported his point of view so it was not all just one sided so if you like to read all the all these comments then just pause the video and read on okay so these are few quotes or uh, comments that support his point of view the first one says how have so many people missed the fact that asman saying artist opinions don't matter is in a business sense The average consumer will not care about artist views on a game they enjoy. I didn't see this as him meaning that artist opinions don't matter in general. So this is something that I have noticed uh, among the people that supported his point of view. They are saying that it's not him saying these things. He is just voicing the point of view of the consumers of the general consumers. Okay so then comes this guy Tectown um he has a platform he plays games and he has his opinion so he shares his opinion with us and according to him people who disagree are over emotional to be honest history has seen major pushback in every technological leap even though it benefited human kind as a whole I'll be real if I can get a burger for $12 or a near similar made for $4 by a robot I'm going to get whichever one's cheaper I know the money could go towards someone else's family and help them out but I'll be real I got enough issues myself to worry about I believe AI will be very useful in the future and can help a lot of people there will be downsides currently Mm, but long term humanity will benefit massively wow okay so he did not mention what kind of benefit a technology will bring that uh, will effectively replace human beings ability to earn money for their livelihood for their living um, living expenses so i'm quite curious about it By the way someone responded to Tectown's post so if it is readable from this video then I'd highly encourage you to pause the video and read the response it's worth reading So here's another post about Asman Go's reaction uh during live stream this post is made by Ral He says in regards to AI being theft Asman Gold goes silent and fumbles 
after being told AI was trained to remove watermarks, then doubles down and says nobody cares, you still have to have other people care about it in order for it to be true. I swear he has frontal lobe damage. So yeah, uh, the, in the video, someone told him that how uh, generative AI is theft because AIs are all these AI uh, AIs are trained to remove watermarks from the images that they collect. And Asman Gold replied that nobody cares. Nobody cares th that uh, these are theft because, um, yeah. So let me know what do you guys think about it all and comment down below.